What's up guys? So in today's video, I want to talk about why tomorrow is one of the biggest days of the year for the real estate market. But before that, I want to introduce you to a couple of my friends. <laughs> We're coming to you live from Richmond, Virginia. Did you guys enjoy the event today? Yeah. Okay, so let me go somewhere real quick where it's just a little quieter so I can tell you guys what's going on tomorrow. All right. That's much better. So tomorrow we're going to see the CPI report. This is going to be the inflation report for April. This is so, so, so big. And it's going to drive several things. It's going to tell us if the feds are going to continue to raise rates, if they're going to be continue to be aggressive. Uh, it's also going to tell us um, what direction we're going to see mortgage rates go in the short term. So it's funny because the Fed rate doesn't control mortgage rates. It's not correlated. It has a little bit of you know relation there um, in terms of inflation because inflation drives both. Okay, they're not really directly correlated, but they kind of are directly correlated both to inflation, and that's why people kind of get that confused. But tomorrow's report is going to be so massive. So there's a lot of mortgage people who believe that we're going to have this incredibly favorable. CPI report tomorrow and we're going to see mortgage rates start to ease down, you know, over the next 30, 60 days, we're going to get under 6% and all that stuff. There's a lot of people in that camp. Um, there's a lot of people in the camp that says that this isn't going to be a great CPI report and that it's still going to be a little rocky. We're not going to see the huge year over year uh, favorable conditions in terms of taming inflation, which is going to prolong mortgage rates coming down, but also um, keep the feds raising their rates. It's 85% chance that they're going to raise about 25 basis points in June. They say they're going to probably take a pause, but it's all depending on the data that's coming out tomorrow. And then the report that comes out the following month. So everybody's kind of in the same boat in the same camp that even if this is a rocky report that we're going to see favorable reports in the future right? Um, is it going to be next month's report, the month after? At some point, they are getting a hold of it and, and it, it may continue to be rocky or we may see some incredibly favorable numbers tomorrow. But every one of us um, in the real estate community needs to be watching this report tomorrow because it's going to tell you a lot in terms of the direction of mortgage rates, what the feds are thinking about doing, so on and so forth. And this is incredibly important to our business uh, for the rest of the year to kind of understand when that perfect storm that I'm talking about is going to hit. We know that we have more 33 year olds this year than we've ever seen in our lifetime. And this is the beginning ages, uh, the average age of first time home buyers. We're, we, have, we have more pent up demand than we've ever seen in history. And we don't even know it. We don't even realize it because we're walking through our everyday life as a real estate agent, we're closing some deals, it's a little slower this year, and we're just thinking, oh, whatever. We don't even realize that there is more pent up demand and people that want to own houses. Uh, Zonda did a report, 98% of millennials wanna be homeowners. Um, there's 72 million millennials and more 33 year olds who are millennials that turn 33 this year. And then those people are turning 34 the next year, 35. They still want to buy houses. Then you have another batch of 33-year-olds coming into the picture. We have 16 years of more 33-year-olds entering the market than we've ever seen in our lives. And we're down on building overall. We need to ramp uh, construction up big time. I believe that the government needs to do something to incentivize builders to get out here and build some entry level homes for these first time home buyers. It's a massive, massive problem and that's why I believe we're going to see double digit increases in prices this year. Um, maybe I'm wrong, you know, I'm just an educated guesser, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really good, I'm a really good test taker. and. When I look at the situation of supply and demand, it doesn't, for me, it take a rocket science to realize uh, what's happening here. But we'll see, and we'll see what the report says tomorrow. I'm excited to see it. Um, you better tune in. Uh, I'll bring you the report right here. Um, I'll be traveling tomorrow home from Richmond, but I'll be watching for the report, and I will come to you right here and, and tell you my thoughts and give you all the data as it becomes available. So 
be tuned in for that. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments, what you think the CPI report's gonna do and uh, what you think that means for mortgage rates um, throughout the rest of the year. And uh, we had an amazing event uh, today. You guys saw the crowd in uh, Richmond's a really, really, really good event. Had a lot of fun. Good to see everybody who was there and um, helped me make this video. But anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the CPI reports. And until then, peace.